How you doing guys? It's Alessandro here from Spicy Moustache with some new tips in order to help you create in your own green area, indoor or outdoor, following the principle of do as nature does. I've been asked many, many times how to start a garden from scratch, but I never actually shown the process of how I do it, even if I helped many different people to create their own growing space. If you just moved into a new place or if you have an unused space outdoor, you need some basic steps and tools in order to start growing your own fresh food at home. However, it could be really confusing, especially online, because people tend to make things overcomplicated. Today, I'm helping some friends to build their dream garden, and I'm gonna show you step by step what I do in order to start achieving such a dream. So dig up the like button, and today I'll show you how to start a garden for the next season, start growing your own food, and reduce your wastage by making a compost pile. The first step to start your garden with the right food is to source a few tools that will allow you to take care of your growing space. The first essential item that I would like to recommend is a spade. It's the perfect compromise between a trowel and a shovel. It is mainly used to dig holes around the garden to make space for new plants. However, it also helps to shovel in soil or compost out of a bin or a wheelbarrow. Also, it helps in cutting a trench or slice off thick tough. If you're planning to have a raised bed garden like mine, or the one that we're making today, it's one of the main tools that you would need to create the growing space. Another item that most people think they can do without, it's a good pair of gloves. They come in different materials and they could also be impermeable. I recommend investing a few extra pounds whenever you're buying your pair of gloves, as they will protect your precious hands. Also, you would need a hand trowel. It's perfect for weeding, planting small plants, preparing a small flower bed, or digging out compost or soil out of a container. I would also recommend micro-thip pruning snips. They are ideal for shaping, trimming, and intricate snipping in tight places. Pruning is just perfect for encountering healthy growth on plants and flowers. Another essential item, especially if you're applying the Nordic method, it's a rake. It helps in leveling a raised bed or removing weeds without disturbing the soil. You can also use it if you're mulching to have an even layer of mulch all over your raised beds. On my list of essential items for the garden, I also have a watering can, which is absolutely needed whenever you're watering seedlings or small plants. I have a few with eight and 10 liters capacity laying around in the garden. An important extra item to add to your watering can, it's a rose, which is the attachment at the end of the watering can that is required to water seedlings and small plants more evenly and lightly. I also made a full video about more essential tools to add to your collection in case you would like a full setup for your garden. The first thing that you're going to need in the garden which I highly recommend to start straight away before you even start setting up your garden, it's a compost pile. It's extremely easy to make, and first of all, it will provide a great amount of organic matter that you won't have to buy from the shop, but you can use to fertilize your garden and grow your own food. And also it will reduce the wastage coming from your household and coming from your garden. You could either grow plants straight in compost mature compost produced by your compost pile or you can mix it with your soil to feed your plants. All you need to use is three pallets which are going to be the main structure for your compost pile. You can join them by simply using metal wire which works great or screws if you prefer to use those. I personally use metal wire to join each corner at the top and bottom. The bottom could be directly in contact with the ground or you can either apply a thin layer of cardboard or I made another video about making a compost beam on a concrete floor which needs to be raised from the floor and I used an old barrel repurposed 
to make my own compost. You will simply have to add some cardboard around all the inner side to avoid spilling materials. I will also add some corrugated plastic at the top to protect my compost pile from the rain and so from excess moisture. Just remember to fill up your pile with about 6 to 10 inches of green material and top it off with a thin layer of brown material to have the right ratio to start your compost pile. Don't be too fussy about the exact ratio to add to your compost pile because as long as you have nitrogen, which are plant materials or even the vegetables coming from your household and carbon, which could include cardboard or wood chips, the composting process will happen anyway. To close your compost pile at the front, you could either add some wooden boards at the bottom upwards, the more you fill up your compost pile, or you can use another pallet and close it with some hinges or just some metal wire. The next thing that we're going to make, it's a raised bed garden, which you will use to start growing your own food. First of all, we will need to source some wood. We are using these boards, which are heat treated, or you could potentially source some oak wood, which hardly rots, or pallet collars, as I showed in one of my previous videos. If you're using boards, cut them the right size and join each corner, adding some screws. Place them on the ground and add a layer of cardboard if you have weeds or grass growing and this will stop it from growing through. However, you will still have some weed or grass growing through so you will just have to pluck them off by hand or use a tool to remove them and the cardboard will just disappear decomposing over a couple of months. Alternatively, you can just skip this step if you have just bare ground without weeds or grass. Add a layer of roughly 15 centimeters organic compost to your raised bed and it will be ready to be planted up straight away to grow your own food. I will use a dipper to plant the plants in the garden to have a minimal disturbance of the soil. Once the plant finished to produce, just cut them at the base, dispose of the green materials into your compost and leave the roots in the ground because they will turn into new nutrients for the plants that you're going to plant after in the same area as they will be decomposed by the microorganisms. This is all you need to start growing your own food at home and have a productive garden in just a few months. I hope you liked today's video and if so, please subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification settings so you can be notified every time I post a new video and I'll see you next Friday for a new episode. Thank you so much for watching. See ya.